Hi and welcome back, Henry of HRU Bricks bringing you my LEGO Technic mod of the Buckwheel Excavator Outfeed Conveyor. The build aims to do two things. One, lengthen the outfeed of the conveyor uh, so that the clearance is past the main body of the machine so that the material would actually drop clear and actually onto my accumulator conveyor. And two, was to add studs to the conveyor belt so that we had an even output and that parts did not roll back down the conveyor as well as accumulate in the bottom of the, the conveyor and actually it would jam up the machine and they would actually spill over. I originally did the mod for my 2017 Bricktober show entry which was my M&M quarry and that had the bucket wheel excavator, the crawler conveyor and the screeners model B and C in that setup and it was a loop, it was a closed loop so what would happen is the bucket wheel would dig it up, take it around the system and actually de deposit it back into the digging tray where the bucket wheel would dig it up again. And it actually saved a lot of time moving uh, M&Ms around the system. Overall, it's not too complex uh, build to extend the conveyors and most parts can be found on BrickLink quite cheap at the moment. Uh, there's a few strengthening parts that need to be added to the frame of the outfit conveyor along with some new rollers underneath. And it just helps give that extra clearance to for the studs to clear the gears. I did try to go a bit longer in, in the outfeed conveyor, but however the weight at the end of the conveyor was impacting the swing, as well as was putting too much pressure on, on the slew bearings, and it just wasn't functioning properly. It just stopped that swinging and nice and smoothly. A short video today is there's much building to be done. Click the subscribe button, hit the bell to stay tuned for the S-Brick Bucker Wheel Excavator mod video as well as that 2017 Bricktober M&M Quarry video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below about this build and also head over to that Rebrickable page for the starter IO file and the LLD file. Getting those design files will always help and save time on re-engineering when you see a build that you might want to build, as well as give you some ideas for your builds. If you have any technical questions, leave a comment on the Rebrickable page as that may help other builders that have decided to do this build or other builds and they may have similar questions. Thanks again for watching. I'm Henry of HRU Bricks, time to get building.